British. Here's the first of them. G. Atherton, the 2008 world champion. And Atherton's track record has been absolutely insane over the last few years, but he hasn't managed to deliver a World Cup win. But his fastest ad split one, Cully. And he looks good on this great. top section. G was apparently in after his qualifying run. Thought he had a little bit more in the tank, thought there was more to give. He said he was just getting it getting it done, getting the job done then. And if this could be a big ride from this afternoon. Look oh. at the pace of him, the bike skipping ah, around. Ah, he lost time there. That's yeah. the problem, he'd get it up to pace. He'd just a little bit over what it can be, and then you lose it in the next corner. He went all the trouble there, setting up wide for that turn. You saw Blenke come in tight. G went wider, it's a little bit slower to set up. You would have come out of that with more with more uh, speed, but obviously that gamble didn't pay off for him. So, has that hurt him? Fastest split at number one since his last win in Wyndham in 2010. He has had 17 Worlds and World Cups. Oh, he's looking loose here. And he's you been on the podium him. 14 times, Connie. That's an unbelievable statistic about him. You could see him kicking up a big rock there, coming into that section and drifting in the next corner. He's trying to make up that little mistake up top. Looking strong through here, bang on the power. The hard gear he's pushing through this bottom section. Going to be interesting to see what G's got for us now. So he's had one win here in 2010, eight times on the podium. Sister Rachel broke her duck. G to the right of that mud hole there as well. No one's going to be much stronger. They've had a new trainer this year working with Alan Millway as well. And G, well, here we go. We're going to find out now. It's split number two. What's happened up there? Oh, he's out 1.129 despite that mistake. So that's an incredible run from the G-man. There's he's power he's down. putting on down here. The crowd going wild for him, jumping into the track. This is great. He's up on the fastest time of Brooklyn Donald. Is he going to go straight into the hot seat and take the win this afternoon? Are we going to see an Athens double? Well, first thing he's got to do is get himself into the hot seat ahead of Brooke McDonald. 437.8 is the time to be as G. Athens screams now down towards his finish line in front of an adoring crowd here in front of Williams. He goes fast. There's 1.142. Look at the time from G. Athens. An incredible run. He has delivered one there, and can Danny Hart touch that? That is an amazing run from him. We saw that mistake up top, so even with that, G is able to put in a storming run this afternoon. I'm impressed with that run. That is one hell of a ride. And look at him. He's given it all he's got there. That is such a hard track to put that much effort in on. And G has just done an incredible race run there. And look at him here, looking precise into that corner and just on the power as soon as the bike's anywhere near upright. Not even waiting for it to be fully upright, he's just getting the power down. He a is new gonna... GT's working for him. It is, it worked for his sister earlier on this afternoon, taking the win there. Are we going to see an Afton double or are we going to see a work of magic from Danny Hart? Oh my goodness. Well, there's one man who can stop the dream of an Afton double here in Fort William. You're about to see Danny Hart, one of the loosest units on the planet.